we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. All right. Vietnam. This is going to be tricky. We did well though, 12th place. Enable, get the boost. Nice and clean. the points again. Like queuing up behind us. Wow. Somebody's lost their front wing. Kimmy coming down the outside. Not breaking. Keep that place. A bit of a queue forming up ahead. Giovanazzi to be there. Got out of the way there.
Please overtake and burn some of this energy. You're losing two seconds a lap to the car behind. Two seconds. That feels like a lot. Hamilton must have had an engine penalty or something. I don't know why he would be all the way down here. Oh, we're getting mugged off on the straights. Sitting duck. Oh yeah, I, I don't really know this track, Jeff, and this car is rubbish anyway. What do you want from me? And now I'm getting bumped by freaking bumper cars by Lando over there. Slot in behind and try to keep up with them. There might be an opportunity to take a place back. Ah, oh, man. Up in there, More space took him back. Slow on the apex, sir. Uh, just parked it there. Pit entry. <coughs> oh, Hamilton's struggling. He's still only in 15th, 16th. What? Did I damage my front wing? I didn't even notice that. Complete. Go now.
Well, slum last then, boys. Let's see what we can do from here. I mean, based on the pace we've got, or lack of, I would be happy to beat the Williams and the Haases. Because um, other than that, we don't really got much in the tank. That's our teammate. He's undercut us. Use your overtake button more. It's time to utilize some of this energy. flags ahead. No overtaking through the caution zone. Be careful until you see the greens. Caution. Caution. The virtual safety car is out. Reduce speed and maintain a positive delta. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Green flag.
Okay, good work. Great pass. Mando and Stroll having barging match back there. Okay, gap ahead is 2.0 seconds. Let's see if we can catch a lacy. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Uh, I don't like that track. All right, race over. Take care of the car. You may have noticed. Not to say I won't like it in the future, but right now I just don't know it, and uh, it's hard. I wonder how Lewis got on. Here we are then, a fantastic Vietnam Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. Tell me, Ant, wow. how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around Sebastian them was Vettel. Theirs, And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximize the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Well, Ferrari must have brought some upgrades or something. I guess Bottas was still up there, but <coughs> Lewis had uh, problems with, I don't know if he had an engine penalty or gearbox or something, but he was, looked like he had a 10 place group penalty to me. And then looked to be struggling in the race as well. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Sebastian Vettel will be very happy with that result as he extends his championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. 
Who do you pick? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari continued to extend seven. the gap at the top of the table. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Mercedes got some work to do then. Just getting picked off on the straights. That's crazy. It's going wheel to wheel with Giovinazzi again. Oh, maybe that was where I lost my end play or something. Oh, little <laughs> little tap there for Lando. It's probably the only move I did. Go forwards the whole race. Tried to squeeze him there. Ah, uh, yeah, that was when I said he parked it on the apex. Just, oh man, so difficult. So difficult to get that car balanced. So I, I don't know, I, I suspect it's a. Being as Giuliano was doing okay, it's probably my driving defici deficiencies on this particular track, but. It's a brand new circuit, so yeah, I, I haven't put in the practice either, I'll be honest. Um. So that was hard. That was really hard. Um, hoping for better. Oh yes, and Giovinazzi is our rival now. I selected him from, I think I had the choice between him and Kimi. So I picked him because I figured he would be worse <laughs> and easier. The, the points were the same though, so there was no difference in uh, what uh, acclaim you were going to get for beating him, so I just picked Giovinazzi. We got some ooh, decent money for no DNFs. Uh, that 10k off must have been for my um, front wing. Alright, back at base. This is how it's looking, guys. Um, let's let's do some durability focus. Then we got an invitational event, and then we should do a press event. Hang on, I messed that up. Uh, let's say let's take that out. How much? How many days we got there? One, two, three, four, five. So we can either do aero and marketing, which will cost us a little bit of cash, but gives us 5% morale on aero. Um, or a funded team event, which will give us bonuses to all of our departments and some resource points, but we lose 20k cash. I think we do that. 
just give all the benefits to everybody. Yeah, okay. I really can't, I don't know how to do these menus, obviously. <laughs> right, so durability, and so basically bu uh, bumping up all of the um, team, uh, the areas of the team. Um, oh, hang on. So if we boost durability there, we're taken away from the others. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, maybe we'll do instead. We'll do some G-force trailing for Giuliano instead. So our arrow is spec one. All the others are spec zero. We've got some money in the bank. Um, but I don't want to blow it all on upgrades <coughs> just yet. Although that would be handy, having extra slots to do R&D. So we've, we've got some parts coming, which is good. Uh, I don't know if you can see us on that on that graph. Because we're black, uh, which is probably the worst colour to pick for this graph, but we started just under 400 in in front of Haas and Williams, and now it looks like Haas have caught up. Um, so Mercedes still have the best car by miles. Um, but what I don't understand is why Ferrari have got such a short bar, but they're actually second second best car, so I don't know I don't know what that's about. Okay. So you can see that the the two parts that we've got come in are on our G <coughs> JDM racing bar down the bottom there. We've got a little pink and a green blip, which is just what the projected benefits are of each of those parts that we've got in the pipeline. So the um, ignition system, powertrain upgrade, and the rear floor under tray. Those are gonna give us a slight benefit pulling us away from AlphaTauri on development and towards Renault. Um, so that's gonna help us. And Let's, let's advance that, now that we've picked out our activities to do. Let's see if the upgrades actually worked. Okay, so the powertrain failed, but the, the under tray was fine. Which is odd, because our morale for our chassis department, because of the question that I gave to the press was uh, dissing them basically so they've got a bit of a slightly more poor morale so I would have thought that part would have failed not the powertrain but there you go it is what it is um, <clears throat> so if we go to the tree I really need to get some durability done as well I think um, gearbox durability is uh, a definite must from what I've been hearing. Um, <coughs> okay, so these, I don't remember fitting these myself. Um, so I don't know if that's 20th of August. So I don't know if these just... Right, so these come on a time basis. Because in the old games, you used to have to buy these, which I never did anyway. Um, but you used to have to buy these incremental um, slots that would give you bonuses to the amount of time that it would take for a department to make certain things, or the chance of failure of those things. Um, 
so I'm kind of glad that, and you just have to spend your points to unlock those. And I thought that was just absolute rubbish. Like, why am I going to waste my points? I suppose it's future proofing, but I just felt like, no, I need the points to actually put into the upgrades rather than um, giving me. F yeah, it, it's that trade off. And I always just put, put it into the upgrades themselves because points were hard enough to come by anyway. So I'm glad that they've tweaked that for this game because um, I always thought that was stupid. Um. Okay, so we've got enough points left over to try and fix that part. So let's do that. And that won't fail again now. So it won't just fail upon fail upon fail. Like it fails once. And then it's, I guess the game is almost like, well, they failed once with it. So they know what the problem is. So they're going to fix it now. I don't know if that was the same on previous games. I can't remember parts failing more than once. That would have been harsh. Um... But again, that's good that they've changed that to, sh to definitely show you that it's not going to fail again if you put these points back into it. So that's good. So we'll get the... That's quite a big upgrade too. So we could have really done without that failing in the first time. Um, so we'll get the engine upgrade to bring us on a, a par with Williams in terms of engine. And then... I think we, I want to do an aero upgrade next when we get enough points. Unfortunately, Vietnam was really bad in practice. Like, I, I couldn't... It was almost a write-off weekend, to be honest, because uh, I, I couldn't get the car to work in any way, shape, or form. I think I did the track acclimatization um, session, and then all the others, uh, the ERS, the racecraft, everything, everything else I tried, I just couldn't get anywhere near what you know, the times that were being asked. So I just binned it off and uh, moved straight to qualifying. And that's not normally... I will try in the practices to try and get those points, but um, I couldn't do it for the life of me, so I left that. Um, but I, in China, I have a good feeling that because it's a track I know, it's a track I go well at, I think we're going to get a decent haul of points from the practice uh, sessions there. And uh, should have a good race as well. So this is a bit more of a lengthy one, but I just thought I'd show you more into what is going on with um, the background stuff, not just the racing side, but more of the uh, the management side now, because this is a big part of this in this game. Um, so uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit more of that. Let's have a quick check of our. Uh, sponsors and stuff because we have changed the um, delivery now from the last race so we did get the second sponsor so I've tried to make it more TriStar is the the big sponsors and then the smaller sponsors is the uh, Gedanka Nubatragung um, otherwise it'd just be TriStar everywhere so I think that the uh, point that we get um, and that car's looking nice now I think I changed the second there was like a another color um, with the gold and it was kind of like a almost like a bronze looking color uh, and I just thought that changing the secondary color on that livery patch to black to go with the rest of the car uh, just seemed to work it almost gave it like you can see down the side of the car there you've got like those stripes it almost looks like a matte a matte stripe which I think looks nice um, while sometimes when you do that it looks weird when you just put two colors on top of each other but it's almost like you've got a gloss and then a matte uh, and I think that that works quite well so um, but if you'd like to see another color in there or if you want any other changes that uh, you can think of, then let me know and I'll see if I can make it work. Um, and that's it. I'm going to go do this invitational event and then we'll go off to China. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.